Hey everyone, and welcome back to Sports Design School, where we teach you everything you need to know to create high quality sports designs in Adobe Photoshop. Today we have something super exciting for you. We're gonna be recreating Ohio State's graphics. And hopefully we'll help you guys be able to kind of take some of these elements and apply them to your own designs. So let's get started. So as you can see, Ohio State has a super clean look, but it also is just incredibly well done. And I think we can learn a lot from some of the things that they do. Today we're just gonna be recreating this graphic right here, and we're just gonna walk through step by step. So I'm just gonna start by creating a new layer. I'm gonna press I to open up my eyedropper tool, and then just click on part of this gray background to match the color. That's looking pretty good. Now I'm gonna press G to open up my paint bucket tool. I'm just gonna paint a dark gray, dark gray color in my background. That's looking pretty good. Now I'm gonna add my text. This is fairly simple as well. I press T to open up my text. I'm just gonna type in don't back down. Easy enough. Now I don't have the font that Ohio State used for this graphic, but I use this font called Hinegar as a replacement font. It looks pretty similar and usually gets the job done pretty well. I'm gonna turn my font size up just a little bit and it increased my spacing between my lines. We're getting pretty close. Maybe just make my font a little bit bigger. And then maybe the spacing just a little bit more. And I think that looks overall pretty good. We're not gonna get an exact match, but that's close enough. Now I'm gonna just simply select this dark gray color. And now we have the fundamental parts of our design. Easy enough. Now you notice they have these red rectangles underneath each word. So we're just gonna go over to our rectangle tool and click and drag. Easy enough. Now I'm just going to double click on this right icon on the bottom right of my thumbnail for my layer. And that'll give me the option to select what color I want. That shade of red looks pretty good to me, so we're just gonna leave it at that. I'm just going to duplicate that layer by clicking on the layer, holding Alt and dragging up. And I did it twice. So I'm gonna take this first copy, just drag it down a little bit. I'm gonna hit Command T. And then I'm gonna hold Shift and drag in from the right side until I get to about the spot that I'm looking for, right about there. And I'm gonna take my second duplicated layer and move that down and then do the same thing. Command T, hold Shift, and then drag to the right. Now I'm gonna take these and drag these below my don't back down text to match the style of the original graphic. So you can see where we're at so far. We have our text, we have our rectangles in the background. I might adjust this middle one a little bit to make sure it's centered. Okay. It's also important to keep in mind that since our font isn't exactly the same, it will look a little bit different with the alignment and things like that, but that's nothing we can't handle. I'm just gonna adjust this, make it a little bit wider to fit. That's looking good. And then same thing with this last rectangle. Okay, no complaints. So now that we have that part of our design done, we're able to move on to our main focus, our player. 
For this, I'm just going to use a cutout I already have. I'm going to scale him down to about the right size. And that's looking pretty good. Now for starters, before I do anything to this image, I want to match some of the look that we see here with the Ohio State design. You can see that the clarity is increased and it looks like everything but the jersey is in black and white. So we'll try and replicate that by going to Filter, Camera Raw Filter. We can start by turning the clarity up. We might turn up the exposure just a tad. It's looking pretty good. We're going to go over and we can adjust the saturation by color. So I'm going to turn the saturation down for every color. Except for our reds to try and replicate some of that look. That looks pretty good to me. We're going to press OK. And now we have a similar look for our player. Let's just check in and see where we're at so far. Not too bad. I'm actually going to select all these layers and move them up in the background. So you can do that by clicking on your layer, clicking on your lowest layer, hitting shift and clicking. And that means you can select all of them at once. And I'm just going to slide up just a little bit to give us some room on the bottom. Now you notice they have this square in the bottom left hand corner. So we're just going to click and drag. Easy enough. And they have an old Nike logo. This will work great. I just drag and drop onto my design. Now I'm going to do a color overlay. You can do that by double clicking to the right of the layer and then pressing color overlay. And I'm just going to set it to match the same shade of gray as our background. I'm going to drag it over our square, command T. And I'm going to go up here to get a more precise adjustment and drag my W to the left for width just to shrink that down to the right about what we want, maybe a little bit more. It's looking pretty good. Now you'll also notice there's some subtle text down here and I'm just going to type in, looks like it just says HC. I can't really even make out what font that is. So I'm just going to use Helvetica for now. I'm going to change my font color to white. I'm going to duplicate that layer. And then it looks like the next line underneath it says motto. Easy enough. I'm just going to type in motto. I'm just going to adjust it to fit. That's looking pretty good. You can also notice they have these two lines down here and those are super simple. So I'm just going to do a thin rectangle. Just like that. I'm going to change my fill color to white. That's looking pretty good. And I might do the same thing by holding Alt duplicate and dragging down. Now I want my end point here on the right side to match so I'm just going to hit command T, shift, 
and adjust until it looks about even, and that looks pretty good to me. So let's check and see where we're at. Pretty good so far. Now I'm just going to add a signature here at the bottom. I'm just going to type in first name last. And for this I'm just going to use a font called Autograph. just to replicate a signature. And for our motto, sports design school. And I'm gonna change that back into Helvetica. Not too bad. I'm gonna zoom back out. And now I'm going to group all of my top layers together just so it's easier for me to go back and forth with my design. You can group layers by hitting Command G. So we're getting pretty close. Two more things I noticed. This logo up top. For our purposes, I don't think we necessarily need that for our design. I'm going to duplicate our group real quick. And you can do that by clicking on your group, holding Alt and dragging up. And I'm going to right click and hit Merge Group. And you'll see why we'll do this in a second. So keep in mind, we still have all of our editable layers down below. But now we just have the ability to have one solid image. You'll notice in this design, it has a good amount of grain in the image, and it gives it a nice polished look and a nice professional texture. And so I'm going to add grain to our image. We can do that by hitting Filter, Camera Raw Filter, and then going over to the slider icon. And for grain, we're just going to hit Light. We might add a light vignette around the corners as well. That's looking pretty good to me. And as you can see, that's about it. So let me know what you think. Let me know what you'd like to see next from us in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, I appreciate it, guys.